All right, David Harry here, and your weather report today for Liverpool, England is wear a coat and don't be doing microphone tests outdoors because it's a bit too breezy. Yeah, what it is, I kind of looked out the window and I thought, oh, that looks terrible. Then I thought, I'll wait until later on in the day to do this, but I thought, no, just get out and do it, soddy. Anyways, yeah, so what it is, I am now testing my latest modification for the GoPro Hero 8 Black Media Mod, and that is to replace the internal microphones with a proper Omni microphone. So why am I doing this? Well, what it is, the last modification that I've done to this shotgun mic, which used the Rode Video Micro Capsule, sounded absolutely ace. I thought it sounded wonderful. But the problem with that is, is as soon as you get any decent breezes, because you can't effectively cover the body on the side where the microphone is, because you can't cover it so well, you're gonna, you're gonna be a little bit stuffed with like, you know, wind noises and stuff like that. So although that modification I think sounds awesome and basically just proves what GoPro could have done as far as a cardioid mic is concerned, at least let alone a shotgun, unfortunately it's, it, it, it's not so good when it gets a bit windy, hence why I've gone for an Omni capsule. Now when I say replace the internal microphones, the internal microphones are all still there and they all still work properly. It's just that I use the cavity where those mics are to put this capsule. Now what I'm going to do, because it's going to go a bit dark where I am right now, and I don't know if the gain settings and all the auto stuff's going to work well here, I'm now going to cut away and show you some pictures of what's going on as I talk about it. So basically what I do here is literally take the side grill off the side of the media mod and then that just exposes the inside for me. Then I put a little hole through the back of the little grill on the media mod on its rear and then put through there a cable which is thin enough and kind of flexible enough for me to hang the three and a half mil jack off the back. Now that particular cable is actually something off a little set of cheap headphones, only because it's got a pre-molded three and a half inch jack on and the cable's really thin and stuff. Then what I do is just wire up an ECM capsule in there. And in this particular instance, the ECM that I'm using is the Primo EM172, which is a fantastic Omni capsule. And then what I do is just literally place the grill back over the top of it after setting the ECM in with some foam. And by the way, that, that bit of foam that I used there is literally just a piece cut off. A, um, a lavalier foam filter just creates a nice little ring for me to put the capsule inside of to have it sit inside the little body part and then like I say I just throw the little grill back over it again now as you'll notice there as well the whole thing looks like one big heap of mess well the thing is if I'd have done this particular mod in the first instance that would have looked really neat because the most messiest part of what that looked like then was basically the front because what happened was I kind of like mangled the front and took the grill off in order to be able to put a little extension piece on the front so I could put cardioid capsules in because the thing with cardioid capsules they need space behind them in order for them to work properly as a cardioid and Omni on the other hand doesn't so if I'd have done this one in the first instance that front piece wouldn't have been a mad mess it'd have been dead neat and also the very first time that I took the grill off I was I managed to be neat enough to take it off cleanly and then the first time I put it back on and just super glued it back in it looked like it had never been touched so there is a possibility you could do this particular modification or something similar to it with another type of capsule you can put in sideways uh, you, there's a good chance you could do that without it looking like a total mess except for obviously you have to have the little cable that comes out the back in order to feed it back into the microphone input and then i've obviously got some form of little wind protection on the side which is literally just a cheap foam filter that i took off a real cheap kind of like shotgun type microphone and it just basically cut it up shaped it around it and at the moment i've kind of just like double sellotaped it like double double sticky back sellotape thing to keep it on now the interesting thing here is one of my youtube buddies mr robert john k did something similar to his medium mod but what he used was uh, the dead cat off a road video micro chopped it up and put it all into place which is basically the idea that i've got for doing this which is off robert's thing but what what i'm going to do is 
have a link here to Robert's video where he's done it and a link in the description so check out that video of Robert it's fantastic and that is actually something which you may want to consider using with just the media mod anyway now obviously as well with this being an omni capsule it is not going to be the best thing to use for vlogging in like noisy environments I mean at the moment the groundskeepers are out with like some big mechanical device in the park and you'll probably be able to hear it behind me so if you're going into like busy environments and like with like loads of other noise omnis are just not really suited to that but with this particular thing that i've got here maybe this is going to be really cool for like just like going to places where you're not getting like battered by tons of other noises and all that stuff and then you know you're hopefully going to be getting a better dialogue sound than what you were going to get with just using the internal shotgun mic on the media mod so what i'm going to do in a second i'll just stand still and i'll just do a couple of quick tests with this okay so what i'm going to do now is just check for handling noise so i'm just going to handle me pistol grip really badly so that's me like really handling this badly of course if you're going out doing vlogging you know how to hold a camera properly and to not kind of be like you know banging around with its pistol grip or whatever rigging you've got on it but that will give us an idea of how much of that kind of like you know transmitted shock stuff is going straight to the capsule because don't forget the capsule although it is inside that foam filter thing hidden inside and kind of suspended a little bit it will be subject to like, movements and stuff like that now the thing is with a cardioid capsule that would be way worse in fact it's just picked up a bit of breeze there as well we might be getting a bit of breeze on the go there so yeah with a cardioid capsule you will feel that a lot more if it's not suspended properly in a shock mount or something like that okay so what i'm going to do now is give ourselves a little example of the internal mics again okay so to the internal shotgun mic facing forward so what i've done here i've literally just popped out my little modification and then and resealed the side back up but just to give this microphone a little bit more of an assistance because it is a bit breezy I've now put my foam filter back on so I'm kind of helping the mic a bit more here as well because what it is I'm not trying to impede this mic in any way to make mine sound better or something because I just don't like this mic in the first place so there's nothing that I could do to it to make it worse in my opinion so what I'm doing here is just helping it out a little bit by putting the foam filter on it anyways I appreciate that there's a lot of people who probably like this microphone and you know what that's all well and good and a, you know and a dig it and whatnot because that's your personal preference but the thing is for me this microphone wasn't what it was sold as and that was the biggest issue for me now the thing with this mic it's gone a bit breezy now so if it does get a bit a bit of wind distortion yeah don't be blaming the mic although it is nuts and not very good it's just it's quite breezy yeah no the thing is I was just really upset with this microphone you know the, the the results from it from my first go and i've tried it a few other times and i just don't like it and if anybody had seen any of my videos leading up to the release of the media mod they'd have seen that i was all buzzed up ready for it expecting to get a cardioid mic and not having to faff about with extra rigging or different cases and stuff and on that point as well although i've recently built what i'm calling you know the best gopro vlogging setup you know the the Ulanzi case and all the extra bits for it. it if i could have had the media mod with a decent mic built in and somewhere just putting a little bit of extra foam on the sides i would definitely have rather have had that it's not like i've put together that other system because like you know i'm saying like yeah this is going to be better full stop because like you know the gopro was great in the first place but i'm gonna make it better it wasn't a case of making it better it was just a case of making it do something more useful because in the end the medium of for me has been a huge letdown but there is no denying that its size and everything is super convenient so you know if that microphone that i've put in is working as far as an omni system is concerned then i will start using the media mod more then do you know what i mean and just to reiterate in principle the media mod is a fantastic idea it's just a pity that its build isn't so good it's a bit overpriced for what it is because of its construction and also the inbuilt microphone just isn't that good which is what we're listening to now anyway so just a bit of a handling test so 
there we go i mean the, the one thing that i would say about this hold on let me just hold this cable out the back i've got my cable dangling at the back here let me just be fair i'll hold the cable and i'll do some handling tests so basically anyway what's going on here i'm just showing us that actually the internal mic system is good at one thing and that is it handles the vibrations and stuff really well anyways i'm now going to go to a comparison test and a silence test got an edge got a surge and it's out of control got an edge i want to pay because I'm losing control. Uncontrollable age, I want to tell you all about it. I've got an uncontrollable age that makes me scream and shout it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that'll just about do it then for this particular video. Now, one thing to bear in mind here as well, all the way through this video, I have not re-leveled anything either. So both of the different microphones have just been played out exactly as they were recorded. So straight in and straight out. Now, to end this video, I'm going to go to the busy main road now and do a little bit of talking by there. I'll end the video here just in case when I get to the road, it's all a bit too much. It's actually just coming up for nine o'clock in the morning right now. So the shut be a lot of traffic for us here and if you've liked all this stuff that are being doing with the gopro things like the hero 8 the medium odd microphones and all that stuff if you go to www.gopro9.com that will take you to a list uh, well basically take you to a playlist which is on my youtube channel which consists of all the gopro hero 8 stuff that i've been doing eventually that particular url will then link to a small dedicated website for all of my gopro videos and if you've liked this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and all the rest of it subscribing to my channel and all that other boring nonsense that you're asked to do at the end of youtube videos anyways what i'm going to shoot what i'm going to do now is shoot off up there so i'll say goodbye now just in case this ends up being a complete mess by the road anyway so i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now okay so what it is here just to get real double nasty with this particular test at the end i'm actually right on the junction of the actual dual carriageway here so there is a ton of traffic going by i don't know if this is gonna work uh, like i say it's an omni mic and all the rest of it which is why i've said all my goodbyes and everything back in the park just in case you can't hear me right now but like i say tons of traffic i'm right on the crossing here and stuff so yeah it doesn't get nastier than this right so what i'll do in a second i'll kind of point the camera around and talk it won't make any difference as far as my levels concerned i wouldn't at all but let's try it so i'm going to turn around and i'm pointing into the traffic so as we can see there there's